Sunday. I know I'm doing a haul on Sunday, but um, I was I had conferences yesterday with my pampered chef, so I'm doing it today. I hope you guys are having a great Sunday. It is finally um, kind of getting warm out here, so it's kind of nice. We still have snow, but that's okay. It's going to be melting. So um, I hope that you have enjoyed the, um, the videos that I have um, posted so far. If you do, or if you're new here, hi, I'm Kim, Crafts with Kim. And if you are not new but um, haven't subscribed, or if you do, if you would like to subscribe, please make sure that you do. It does help my channel grow, and also like my videos and comment if you would like. I um, I'm really um, happy that you have joined me today. So with that being said, let's get into the haul. So. I found a few Easter things. I thought that this was a really awesome Easter find because you don't find very often that you get um, a big package like this at Dollar Tree. Um, but there's 18 eggs in here, plastic eggs, so I thought that was pretty good for $1.25. And I also found these really cute other ones. If I can find them. Um, I saw, I found these. These are eight of them in here. But they look like little cupcakes and they're just so adorable. I just thought they were really cute. And they also have ones that look like donuts, I guess. I don't know if that's what you would call them, but that's what I'm going to call them. It looks like they just have little sprinkles. And I think that they're really cute because even the cupcakes have little sprinkles on them. That's so cute. And I have found um, this carrot garland which is um, really nice. I bought like a couple of these. Um, I Last year I had made my made um, a gar uh, my own garland out of some of these, but they came in like a little package. But this year I saw, oh, I actually got three. This year I saw that they had these. Um, they're only, they're six feet in here, so, um, but that's pretty long, but you can always attach them together if you need be, but I just think it's really cute. And even if you didn't want to use it as a garland, you could definitely use it, um, take the carrots off and use it as a craft or anything, really. Mm -hmm. Um, I saw these, I just think that these are really cute. The carrot patch and the egg hunt. It's really cute. I think I actually hauled those before. I don't know if I put them in the haul or not. But um, I just think that they're cute and something to you that you can definitely um, paint. And I just think that this um, next thing is just so adorable as is. You don't even really have to do anything with it. And it definitely does go with my decor that I'm going to be having for Easter. So it just says fresh carrots, um, Cottontail Farm, 100% organic. And I just think that this is so well made and for $1.25 it's really cute. And I also like this one as well. Um, I wish that it didn't have the glitter but that's okay. Um, but I just think that this is also well made. And it says um, Hippity Hops Carrot Patch. And I just love the bunny on here with the carrots. and. I don't know if you've noticed, but I am doing carrot theme this year in my house, so that's kind of cool. And that's why I'm getting all of the carrot theme things. And let's see what else. I also found one of these. I, I really like to buy these because you can really do a lot of things with these. You can take right the backing right out and you can flip it over or you could put paper on here or you could leave it as is if that's your thing. It's just not my, this doesn't really go with my decor the saying, so I will um, be doing something different with that. And I found this really pretty ribbon. It's like a mauve color, or like rose, and I just think that it was really pretty. It's sheer ribbon. Um, I haven't seen that color before, so um, I just thought that it was really cute. And you know how much I love the stickers at Dollar Tree. And if you um, do not check out the stickers when you're there, you're missing out on a lot. So I found this and I just think that it's so adorable with the bicycle and the flowers. 
and it will look really nice on um you could use it on any of your craft things you can use it journaling scrapbooking and i just think that they have amazing stickers there and very well done i only found this one today um yesterday when i went shopping i didn't um really find any other stickers except for I have seen a lot of people craft with these, so I was kind of interested in doing it myself. But these are um, little peel and stick mirrors um, that are in the shape of houses. And you can paint um, over these as well. And I just think I am definitely doing a craft with that. So I got those to do that. And you know how much I love... Um, all the paper goods as well at Dollar Tree. So I found these gorgeous napkins that are for the spring and I just think that they're so pretty and it would, lay, it would look good on a table setting for spring or you can craft with them as well. Like you can take them apart and because these are two ply so you do have to take them um, apart if you are going to craft with them and um, they work really well with Mod Podge and this would be a really cute Mod Podge on something because it's like already in a, um, I don't know, it's just adorable. It's already in a flower pot and everything. So, um, I didn't find much of florals that I didn't already have so I'm trying not to buy repeat just because I like it so if I don't really need it, then I'm not going to get it because, you know, everything's pricey nowadays. So, um, but I did find these and I just think these, these little pink, um, cattails are really cute for spring and I can't wait to, um, put that in my decorative vase that I have. Um, what I did find was I found some really cute fabric, um, that's in the it's like craft fabric fabric that you find in crafter square and i have only usually found like the solid colors um i found some striped or i had found wasn't black and white um gingham but it was i think blue i don't remember any of the other colors but they had some really cute um uh, fabric at the Dollar Tree that I went to yesterday. Um, this one is really cute. And I'm going to open it up just because so you can get the picture. So, because it all wrapped up, you won't really see it. And I just think that it was adorable with the little bicycle on it. This would make a really cute um, pillow or. Um, I just think that it's really cute with the bicycles and the bicycles it has a little basket on the front with um with some flowers in it I it just draw me drew me in and I just thought it was really cute and then I found um crafter the gingham black and white um checker fabric and then I found this flowery one which I'll open up so you can maybe I can it's not tearing very well <laughs> of course not this stuff is sticky and but this one is really cute it has like peonies on it I think those are that and little, it looks like feathers, but I just think it's adorable. And to find some, it's a pretty big size of material. So, um, you know how I like to make the no sew pillows like I did before. Um, so I may do that again, or I may do something different with it. Um, let's see. My son has had, um, he actually came and went shopping with me yesterday, my older son, so it was kind of nice to 
um, get together with him and walk around in the store with him as well. Um, but he has a school project that he has to do, so he needed a permanent marker, so we bought one of these. We also got him one of those, um, oh, the trifold cardboard poster board things, which um, they are way cheaper at the Dollar Tree than they are at Walmart, I believe. Um, so if your kids ever do need to um, have poster board or foam board or those trifold um, uh, like display boards or whatever, they are cheaper at the Dollar Tree than um, I think the um, than Walmart. But I'm actually not sure about that actually. So forget that I even said that because maybe they're a dollar at Walmart. I don't know. I know that the craft the trifold is not a dollar, but I think that that is cheaper at Walmart. But if you couldn't find it, the Dollar Tree it does usually have a lot of them. So just something to think about. And I also um, found these furniture scratch markers. I'm gonna try to um, use them on some wood things that I have. I've seen. Um, other people use them in some craft things, so I thought, hey, why not? I'll give it a try. And he also needed some yarn, so we found some red yarn, and he needed that for his school thing. And this is actually a pretty small haul. I didn't get, I didn't find very much um, at all yesterday, but that's okay. I got my kids the razors that they like, the Gillette um, ones. There's three razors in here, so that's pretty good. And let's see, I'll try to get everything out of here. Oh, I found this like cute little um, wood with the thing attached, so I was like, ah, oh, why not? Um, I did find some lip balm that I'm gonna try. It's from LA Colors and it is moisturizing, strawberry scented. So I'm kind of excited to try that. This time of year, my lips get so trapped, chapped, like um, during these winter months. I just wanna see what it looks like. So I'm, that's why I'm opening it. So I want to see, um, well, it's coming out very slowly, while piece by piece. Kind of annoying, but there we go. Oh, it's kind of cute. So let's see. I'll try some. Smells good. does feel good it feels it goes on smoothly so that's kind of nice you know how some lip glosses though sometimes I don't like some of the lip glosses because they leave like a taste in your mouth but this one hasn't at least not yet so not that I'm putting it in my mouth, but when you have it on your lips, sometimes you can just taste it. I don't know. It's a weird thing. Maybe I'm the only one that ever has that happen to me, but I don't know. But, um, I love, 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 love these, um, Bolero facial wipes. They have so many different, um, uh, scents. This one is mango and raspberry seed oil. And if you guys, um, have not tried these, these definitely work. I use them every night to take off my makeup and it just leaves your face nice and clean and it really um, does hydrate your face um, and cleanses it. And it's, um, it's helped a lot with some of my dryness that I've had in my face. So definitely when you're at the Dollar Tree, find these. They have so many different scents and I absolutely love them. And, oh, I guess I bought two of those, but it's probably really not worth it for $1.25. 
because I have so much of this kind of wood hanging around, but I just thought it was cute because it already had the string on it and you can just make a quick little sign with it. So, um, one of my friends, which I believe she does watch my videos, but oh well, um, she has, um, she does the keto diet. So I found, um, this recipe book. So I thought that it would be nice for, um, her to um, check it out I mean I don't know about you but these um has chocolate peanut butter balls in here delicious let's see what else is in here spaghetti squash lasagna yum she better be making me some of these recipes in here ha 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 just kidding There's so many things in here. Bacon guacamole deviled eggs. Those look kind of yummy. And I, my husband has been on this big chocolate fix lately. Um, so, but I needed to fill up my um, candy jars anyways because I like to have um, candy jars around. And because when my nephew comes, he likes to have them. Just a little something. So I found these Easter eggs. They're just the milk chocolate flavored ones. They're just milk chocolate. Um, so we can't um, have the um, crisp ones because we have to be gluten free. So those ones have can, are made out of wheat. It says that it could be made at a wheat factory that processes weed. I mean, so we don't. Um, I don't get those ones and. Um, also the peanut butter ones that are like this, the Palmer flavored, we can't have either because those, um, the peanut butter is a little, it says that it could contain wheat. So I just stay away from those. So that's actually today's haul. I know that it wasn't very long or wasn't very big, but, um, it, um, that's all I could really find at my Dollar Tree so that I didn't already have or things I didn't really need. Um, like I said, I'm trying to not spend as much and trying to use what I already have. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul and please comment below if you have um, tried any of that lip balm and what you think about it. And because they also had um, the vanilla flavor, but I'm not a huge vanilla flavored fan. So that's why I just bought the strawberry. But it does. Um, it, it, it feels good on the lips, but we'll see how it does. And like I said um, in the beginning, and if you... Um, want to know if I have posted a video, make sure that you hit the bell and, um, and everything. And I hope you guys have a wonderful Sunday and enjoy, um, the rest of it. Have a great time and I will see you the next time. Bye.